All right, come on in, guys. Hey, everyone, Jay Todd coming to you from the streets of Las Vegas, and here's what's happening this, this week, week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by On Tilt Radio, the number one ranked poker radio website and the only true poker radio social network with more original programming and syndicated content than anyone. Visit OnTiltRadio.com. Hello, friends. We've got a lot of poker to talk about this week, including how poker legislation could affect the entire gaming industry. In just a few moments, we're going to be taking a look at what you can expect to see if you're traveling to Las Vegas this month. But first, this week's big story. Our friends at the American Gaming Association have started a full court press to try to get some sort of online poker legislation passed at a federal level during the current lame duck session of the U.S. Congress. The AGA is warning our congressmen that if they do not act quickly, there will be an explosion of online gambling activity as more and more states move to regulate the activity within their borders. But please see this for what it really is. I fully support the American Gaming Association, and there's a lot of merit to what they're saying. However, it is also in their best interests and in the interests of big Vegas casinos if federal rather than state legislation gets passed. However, since I am a fan of federal over state regulation as well, I say keep pushing them, AGA. Scare the hell out of those boys up on Capitol Hill. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get our latest videos as soon as they're published. Visit youtube.com slash This Week in Gambling. This week, the State Gaming Control Board in Nevada recommended Caesars Entertainment or an interactive gaming license. Geez, I, I guess they'll just give anyone a license. I'm, I'm kidding, of course. This could be very big news for players, and not just the ones living in Nevada. Caesars would love nothing more than to get their World Series of Poker brand online as quickly as possible. But they've got their sights set on more than just the state. They're looking down the road at the possibility of U.S. federal regulation and eventually moving into Europe. <laughs> You guys do a jiggy dance or anything? I mean, you're out here, you're looking really sexy. I, around a little bit. I, 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 I'm saying that to get to get my ass to look like your ass, I would need about six months in the gym and a weed whacker. <laughs> and a weed whacker. And a weed Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm a dude, right? Anyone here planning on visiting Las Vegas anytime soon? Anyone? Y you? Okay. Lucky guy. Here's a look at some of what you can expect to see if you're traveling to Las Vegas in the month of December. Hey, my friends. It's that time of the month again. Time to find out what's going to be happening at the Fremont Street Experience for the month of December. With me, as usual, is my buddy Tom. Tom? December at Fremont. It's an exciting month. The first two weeks of December is the National Finals Rodeo. And we kick off that with uh, Downtown Hoedown. This will be the 26th annual Downtown Hoedown. All the Cowboys and all the rodeo fans come down here and have a street party the night before the NFR begins. And then throughout the NFR, those two weeks, we have 12 days of country here. Uh, nightly country bands and entertainers performing for free. And then at the end of the month, of course, is the New Year's Eve celebration. New Year's Eve is on a Monday night this year, so that'll make a great four-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. 
and we have uh, headliner concerts on uh, New Year's Eve night. We do a spectacular year in review Viva Vision show, and we also do fireworks under the wow. canopy at midnight. Wow. Well, my New Year's Eve plans have just changed to be on the Fremont Street Experience for New Year's in Vegas. Four-day weekend and New Year's in Vegas. Tom, thank you. Give me a heads up. You've, you've made me change my calendar. <laughs> this, this is the only place uh, in Vegas where you'll find us on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo out here having fun, trying to crowd, having a couple drinks. Looking sexy. Looking sexy. And we'll go have a cold one and come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Loosen them up, right? Yeah. Thanks, you guys. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time Thanks on This Week in Gambling. I sure hope that's Rugburn.